I guess I round nominated Ryan because he's just a shining example of the right way to do things. I take a lot of pride in my work, and a lot of folks do around here. And to have, like you said, like Greg, I've looked up to him for a long time. I've worked with him for a while. He's been here 20 plus years. Uh, I've got a lot of respect for Tony, too. He's a great boss. Um, and it, it just feels really good. And like I said, it's, it's humbling to have folks like that that's got so much you know, experience and uh, dedication and commitment to doing a good job to, to recognize the work that I do. He's constantly coming up with new um, solutions for chronic problems, right? I mean, for, for stuff that uh, we battle with daily, you know. And, you know, the norm would be to just, you know, continue doing what we're doing. Okay, he doesn't, he isn't satisfied with that. It's like, you know, there's always a better way to do it. He'll hear out everybody's problems, which sometimes people just need to talk. And that, I think that's where it truly, that's where he, a lot of his respect comes from, is that he, you know, he will listen. He doesn't take a day off from safety. The SOS program, see, don't it, solve it. It's a site program here that we have, you know, that we have here. Um, it's people see something that's going on, it's not quite right. They stop the individual, they see that, they talk about it. Um, you know, and they basically come up with a solution. I, I try to do things the right way. It's all the little things that add up and matter. Um, it's coming to work, showing up, being safe, looking out for everybody else's safety. It would be exciting to see the, the common man basically get to go to Toronto. And, you know, among many people company-wide that are deserving of it, it would, it would show at our level that corporate notices little people. The, the ground-level guys that are, that are gritting it out, they're, they're the ones that are, you know, winning the day for us.